Melon is sponsoring me to teach you how to invite guests and manage different guest layouts so you can do uh, remote interviews really easily using their platform. I've done this for a living, like multi-million dollar webinars and stuff here out of my home studio. You don't need all this gear to do it anymore. Melon makes it so easy. Here's how you invite guests. Obviously, you need a Melon account, so if you haven't already signed up, go ahead and use my affiliate link below for that, of course. Now, Invite guest is where you're going to click up here in the top right hand corner, and it's going to have a number of options. So it's going to automatically populate a link, and if you share that link with somebody and they click it, they can join your recording session, which is really cool. I'll show you how that works in a moment. Let's say you don't want that link to be used anymore. Maybe it went public on accident. Maybe you're done with that recording session. Then you can click generate new link and it'll refresh and give you a new link. You can also email the link to people, put it in a Google calendar invite, whatever. Also, there's a set of very useful instructions for guests that you can click. Uh, so I highly recommend opening that up in a new tab like I just did, control click and sharing this with people that are not already familiar with Melon and how to join. This just makes, this just has best practices and it can help your guests not go through that awkward phase of how do I make my mic work and all of that. It's or the worst. These instructions are super, super simple and it's a mobile friendly page. So once you've got that link, you copy it and then you send it to your guests and then they will join. So here I've got it in a tab over on my other computer. So once they open that link, it's going to open this interface for your guest. And I'm just going to join as myself here. And just to show you what your guest uh, experience is like, they're going to have to add their name. They're going to have to choose their mic and what they're listening to. They're going to do echo cancellation, choose their resolution, ask them to turn up to the highest resolution possible to increase quality. And they'll have to choose their camera. Got it. Once they do that, they're going to click join. Once they have joined, they will see your broadcasting session here, as you can see. So this is my guest view of the broadcasting session. I'm here as a part of it. Let me move this out of the way. So you as the broadcaster are going to see their input over here on the side. So this is the other version of me. So let me click show on stream. And now the other version of me is here on, this, on the screen. Pretty cool, right? So now you and your guest are here. Now, once you and your guest are here, there are a number of layouts and configurations that you can do to configure your content. So, for example, if you go down to the bottom left-hand corner, you can do side-by-sides with the two of you side-by-side -side like this. You can do panel setups. You can do one person is big, one person is small. You can do all sorts of configurations, moving your cameras around as you see fit in whatever configuration you think is most suitable uh, for that particular con content. Also, check this out. Your guest can share their screen and you can add their screen share to the session. So this is now the guest window I'm bringing over. Check this out. They can share uh, any their screen if they want to. So let's say I wanted to, I'm just going to choose this entire screen right here and I'm just going to share it. Uh, and now it's sharing the other screen. So now I'm sharing this other screen. And look, this other screen is now an input over here. So if you wanted to bring your guest's screen share on, you can click share. And now you're looking at what the guest's uh, screen is. Here, I'm going to move that out of the way. This is their screen, okay? Pretty cool, right? And so now you can do different configurations for that. You can put your guys next to it like this, looking at the content. You can put yourselves above it, looking at the content. All those configurations are available down here with you guys and the content. You can add even more content on top of that if you want to, which is really cool. You, as the broadcaster, can share your screen or play a video or whatever. And so let's say you were going to share a screen too. Boom. Now here comes your screen on top of that. You're going to show that on the screen instead. Blah, 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 blah. Got it? So you can switch between these different inputs, both you and your guests plural, can add different content and you can do different things. And if you want to remove the content from the stream, let's say you wanted to stop doing screen shares, you'd hide the screen shares and then it would just be the two of you. And let's say you wanted to just go to one of you guys talking and not the other, you can double click on that person's input here on the preview pane and that'll, that'll go full screen. Cool. Or 
you can click, if you want something to go away, you click hide on stream and it'll get rid of them. And then the other thing will be there instead. And if you want that to go away, you hit hide on stream and everything's gone. Also, another configuration option is you can click show on stream and then look at this. You've got the full screen option here. If you want to spotlight that particular source, so it is on in front of and on top of everything else, which is really great. Also, if you have a single source and you want the background to be there, there are different scenes where it'll put that single source in front of your background so it can look more branded if you want. Also a really cool option along the way. The last thing I'll tell you about custom configurations is notice how you and your guest have volume levels available. So if you want to adjust your guest's volume level, let's say their mic is jacked or it's not loud enough or it's too loud or whatever, you can change their volume levels here, which is great to get it just right. Another reason why I recommend using headphones. And there's a number of options, including kicking the guest out. Let's say you bring somebody on and their connection dies or they end up misbehaving or whatever it is, it doesn't matter. You can kick them out, click the dot, dot, dot next to that guest and boop, they are gone and it's just you once again. And this is also an easy way to cycle through guests. You don't have to ask them to leave, right? You are in complete control of your broadcast when you use Melon. Anyway, there's a link in the description below. Very powerful tools, very simple to invite guests to do podcasts, group Q and A's, you name it, all available right here on Melon. Check it out. Adios, amigos.